welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tessie if this is your first time of stopping by here my name is Tessie you're welcome please subscribe before leaving of my old and returning subscribers you guys rock you guys are amazing thank you for always coming back here so in this video I'm going to be making a requested video of one of these videos that is trending on YouTube right now your face so that is the video I'm going to be making <laughs> to be a youtuber as well she asked me she requested this video a while ago <laughs> so i've decided to make this video okay so let's get to it okay guys i have the questions i'm going to be answering and sorry if you can hear some side noise my kids are here so i don't want to fight with them this is why i just let them do what they what they are doing okay so i'm going to be picking the question here i found this person on google because it's more easy there so i just picked the one i saw there so creating a new one all right so i'm going to be answering all the questions here okay so the first question is first app you check when you wake up in the morning actually the first app i check when i wake up in the morning is my bible yes i have this bible app on my phone so the moment i woke up in the morning before doing anything i click on it to read the morning devotion this is honest like 100 percent honest since i started using phone and have bible on my phone that is the first app i always open in the morning and the other app i open probably when i finish reading my morning devotion pray after praying i will just either youtube or uh instagram is the next uh app i open facebook is always always come last okay so the second question said first broken bone i have not had any broken bone i can't remember having any uh, broken bone before so the third question before my kids come to distract me because hmm this is really this is why i hardly do sit down video or do lookbook video or do her video or any video i sit i dress up sit like i sit prepare myself sit down video i it's difficult for me to do them right now because i don't know for no reason this kid just increase their you know active activeness so yeah the third question is first for, uh, foreign country you ever visited italy is the first foreign country i ever visited so 2012 so yeah uh, and now i'm living here so okay so first instagram twitter or facebook first instagram twitter or facebook facebook it was my first apple followed by instagram twitter i don't really do twitter uh, but i still i have the app okay so facebook is always the first you know facebook was, came out before or uh, i know twitter has been but facebook was commonly known before instagram all right so the fifth one said first makeup uh item i can't remember my first makeup item i think it was um um i can't remember the year but i was a teenager then uh, i think it was one of these local market makeup stuff i can't remember very well but uh, <laughs> it was an eyeshadow palette that contained lipstick lip gloss eyeshadow and uh, all that so yes so the one that this one said first time ever got into trouble at home or school um this is not my first time of ever gotten into trouble at home because where i was like i was having normal problem at home like it, a baby a teenager, or just if human being in general okay um it was just a minor problem and at school i was never really that um you know active girl you know i will do this i will do that in school so i was always a quiet one but a first time i got a problem that not a first time but there was this problem i got with my mom i got into a, a fight not a fight just you know teenager I was a teenager then uh with my mom i didn't know that my dad was listening to me in the room so it was a during the inter-house sports if you are in nigeria you know what i mean so they sell this t-shirt i was in secondary school i was in um, S, uh, js2 then so you know when you are in that stage at that age everything is shocking you on the head so when i got that t-shirt that day we were preparing for in the house sports i wanted to wear that particular t-shirt to school 
Uh, my mom said, no, I should not wear the t-shirt. I insisted on going to school with that t-shirt, not knowing that my dad uh, was listening to our conversation. So I kept saying no to her. She keeps asking me to keep it. I said, no, I want to. This is what I want to wear to school today. So the next thing I heard from my bag is boza, boza, boza. I said, my dad beat me. I ran. He followed me up. I knew how I ate my, my, you know how Nigerian how the Nigerian uh, thing, uh, how Nigerians, Nigerian parents behave. Anyhow, I ran into our neighbors house. My father followed me. Anyhow, I entered my father followed me. He did not got satisfied after beating me at home. He still tell uh, coppers because there was a youth, there was this group of youth coppers that was in the school then. He still reports me to them that they should give me how many flog jesus when i arrived school that day i was like nailed down i was like what did i do that they asked me to need i didn't do anything i didn't offend anybody in, uh, in uh, school they said i should need that and this guy said flog me and that guy is a yoruba guy <laughs> you guys said flog me after then afterwards he said that my dad is the one that gave them the authority to do so so i will never forget that and that was the last thing my dad gave me before he passed and that that particular trouble I will never ever 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 forget it in my life so that was a big trouble this is just a, something I would call big trouble I got at home and at that school so the next question is the uh, first um, first time you were allowed to put on makeup I was never my mom is a makeup type of person I must say I grow up I grew up my mom always put on makeup on me especially I'm, i was i'm the first daughter okay so i remember um when we did the uh, compost christie compost i don't know if you guys know compost christie if you are a catholic you know what compost christie is so i was one of the flower girls on that compost christie so on saturday i went to my mom took me to the salon to make my hair after making my hair on sunday being the sunday the compost crazy sunday she put on the whole makeup she made me up like an adult so i know most people don't I don't like it but when i went to church she dropped me at the church to join the other flower girls group and the the, the flower girls leader started cleaning the whole makeup my mom put on my face so that got my mom angry and also got me angry as well because she has no right to do so uh, so I would not say the first that's what I was I said making up like my mom said putting up a uh, makeup on me when I was a little girl as little as uh, four five years and all that because i still remember my big day uh pictures and i have makeup on on those pictures so my mom is this type that love chakara so yeah <laughs> all right the next question the first youtube you subscribe to so the first youtuber i subscribed to i can't really remember the first youtuber i subscribed but i remember that i subscribed to a lot of natural hair youtuber because when when i went natural that was when i said being active on youtube so i was never a youtube person like what coming to watch video and all that no when i say i went natural that is when i had like well that is when the motivation come to even watch people's video because i was searching i asked so many people some questions on facebook then they asked me to go to youtube so when i say you are uh, watching those natural hair videos on youtube that was when i said putting interest on youtube that is how i become a youtuber okay so but i can't really remember the first person i subscribed to but i remember that i was watching a uh, natural uh, something something uh, her name i in fact i watched i was watching a bunch of um natural hair youtubers i hardly watch vlogs then it's just my natural hair or food any food that i feel like i don't know how to cook and i need to learn how to cook it so that is what i was uh, watching on youtube so moving over to the next one first time you went shopping on your own first time i went i went shopping on my own i have always been the like i grew up first daughter at home so in my place i always go shopping i don't know the kind of shopping you're actually asking of so i always go shopping on my own but there is this shopping i have i went on my own that i also will never forget that was in portacourt that was when we moved from the from anambra state to portacourt after uh, my dad's death my we moved to with our aunt with my aunt okay so she one day she was she owns a restaurant so she asked me to go buy meat for her at the market then i don't know i was not fluent in english or even in the pidgin english and all that so all i know how to speak was Igbo, Igbo, and Igbo only 
Igbo and Igbo. Oh, that was what I speak then. So she asked me to go. She, uh, I went with her to the, uh, to this particular man that sell the butcher that sell this. Uh, the mate, her customers. I've been there before with uh, my aunt. So that day she sent me to the market alone, asking me to buy a particular kind of meat. That was the reason why I will never forget the part of meat that is called Kampala, Kamp Kampala, something like that. So she asked me to go to the man, tell the man that uh, I want to buy Kampala and it's, it's for restaurants. So I went there, being that I'm panicking, it's not that like I didn't know how to say that in the, uh, in Pidgin English, but I didn't, I, I got confused, you know, when you, you went something on your own. Uh, something you've done something that or you went to do something that you've never done before on your own you you will see the you will panic okay so being that everybody in Porta Court mostly they speak pidgin english or good english and all that so i went there i stood there everybody was buying meat when he got to my my turn i was like the man asked me for sale or for shop for shop or i think he said for sale or for or shop something like that so the man used the pigeon English and he's an evil man. So I was like, I didn't know what to say. I was like, I I I was I was like I froze at that moment and my aunt told me to tell her that it's for sale. Okay. So I didn't know what to answer the man. I like I froze immediately. So the man was like, oh, okay, let me just cut it for 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 eating, like for normal meat. So the man just slides it like that. You know, when it comes to restaurant meat in Nigeria, there is a way they slice it because they sell it, they count it, okay? So when I got home that day, my auntie said, screaming, the man is an Igbo, he will use Igbo language, but that is not, the language is not the problem. What was the problem is that I didn't know how to express myself because that was my first time of going there alone. So that particular that particular shopping, I will never ever forget it in my life. It was, it was like, ooh, you know when you carry a video to your comment and ask her to go do something alone in the city, <laughs> it was a disaster, guys. It was a big disaster. All right, so moving on to the next one, uh, my first boyfriend or girlfriend. Oh my, I I can't really. Let's skip that area. My first car, my first car is, uh, is this one I'm actually driving. That is really the one I'll call my first car, uh, which is a model 20, 2018 Hyundai. So, yes. Um, number, the next one said, my first cooking experience. My first cooking experience was when I was a baby. And all, I also had a cooking experience, which I'm going to share with you guys. You know, I love cooking. As a teenager, I love cooking. In fact, till now, I still love cooking. Cooking is one of my favorite things to do, okay? I can stand in the kitchen for hours without getting tired, all right? So, there was this day I came back from school and there was nothing at home to eat. My mom was not around. Nobody around was around. So, I love farm. You know, I love farm. I love to go harvest something from the farm cook it by myself and i love to have enough food stored at home so that day because my mom was not around my dad was not around, there was nobody at home even my my cousin that was staying with us she is still at school so i took um ube is it ube where mommy and i don't know what they call it again you know that thing they used to remove yam from the for, yeah, when the yam was short to remove it, I use it because we have a farm, a land close to us where my father normally uh, farm. So I went there but all by myself. I took how many bounds of yam? The yam is, was so big. I took three of it. In fact, I took every yam I took. I came back home. It's of me to cook only one yam and leave the rest. I went to take the biggest pots like the biggest cooking pot we have at home cut all the yam fill the pot put the water put salt put fire I would stay cooking this yam I said I ate the yam my siblings came back for school they ate the yam my mom came back here the yam everybody tried to finish that yam that yam refused to finish my mom, you know what my mom told me? My mom said, you should prepare for your dad when he comes back. I hide for my dad for one week. Like he, the man know that this girl know what she did. So he didn't even beat me. He didn't even say a word to me. All he need, all he did after some days that he have calmed down after I demolished his farm. <laughs> he came to me and told me, if you want to cook, try to cook what you can eat. Stop thinking about others. 
and stop going to my farm that this will be the first and the last that i will go to his farm to take yam without his permission that day fear fear never let me step foot alone into that farm say i want to get a yam mm -mm. so that was the first cooking experience i would say i cooked a bunch of yam for the whole village to come and cook like i went to the farm harvest the yam come back home put it in the pot and cook it and none of us could we did not finish that yam i tell you guys and it wasn't funny so the next question is this um my first crush i don't really remember honestly i would say that i don't really remember okay so the next question is my first ever phone my first ever phone was motor moto motorola i think that's what it's called that tiny small Motorola that when you close your hands, your hands, you can't even find them. So that was my first ever cell phone, motor, Motorola, and uh, I moved to Nokia. So my first ever girlfriend, the girlfriend that I consider girlfriend is was in my school. No, I I can't remember because you know when you grow up in the in a, in Nigeria, especially in the local side of there, you have a bunch of girlfriends, a bunch of people you grow up with that you call friends that you get know you know each other, you know almost everything with each other until you separate, like school separates you and all that. So I can't really call one person my first ever girl unless it was when I moved to Potako that I met this very um nice girl at school when I was in the secondary school. Okay, so she's uh she's from abia state she's Igbo as well she's from abia state and she lives in lagos with her family right now so there are two two of them one is Igbo state and one is uh abia state so those are the people i finished the school with so i will cons i call them my girlfriend so they're not bad and me i still keep in touch with one of them which is the one that is more closer more close to me okay but uh the ones i grew up in the village i don't even have any of them contacts except one <laughs> all right my first fear my first fear has been darkness yes i'm scared of darkness when i grow up being scared of the dark like i can't stay in a room that that is dark i can't even stay in a room alone when i was growing up because i think it's because of this thing that when i when i was a baby when i was little people keep telling me that uh, i'm a banjo i'm a milk water i'm this i'm that so i have that fear in me that these people are i was like i was scared that they are telling the truth that if i stay probably alone in a room i must have i will see something those things that they are calling me so i grew up then like i was so scared of um darkness or being alone exactly because my fear right there is not move shifting from the uh the way of god that is my fear biggest fear as an adult right now because i want to serve god i want to be in his vineyard i want to do what pleases him why i still live my life i would i want to make him i want him to be my all and all i don't want to uh, like serve another thing that is outside god and seven so that is my fear right now not moving away from god and by the god grace i'm not going to do that so let's move on to the next question uh my first friend in college okay i've talked about my first friend in college when i was in secondary school she's from uh, abia state and uh, the other one is from uh uh emo state so yeah i've talked about them i still keep in touch with one all right so my first heartbreak my first heartbreak my first heartbreak was when my dad when my dad was killed when my dad was murdered that was my first heartbreak because my dad was everything to me so I, there, i've never had a heartbreak that is um uh, is more than that particular uh my father's heartbreak so i've never had any other heartbreak that would beat that heartbreak at all so the next is uh one my first instagram post my first instagram post i will going to tag i'm going to look for it and put the picture here it's just me posting you know posting pictures okay so my first uh my first internet activity my first internet activity i don't really remember it's just on facebook facebook is my first internet activity i'm like posting pictures on facebook there's nothing much to do okay so the next one in my first job i've never really been on a, a job person i've always been on a like a self-employed trying to create something for myself or business and all that so i've never really had an active job except when i was in catering school that i i had to do some programs uh like work outside so yeah 
and even if I uh, after my kids, uh, my baby girl, when, if my baby girl starts school today, I think I'm going to look for a job in that particular field of a uh, catering hospitality management. So yeah, I've never really have like much like active job and all that. All right, my first uh, language, my first language is Igbo. Igbo language is my first language. Yes, that is my language. My that is my language. Okay, so my first love. Uh, my first love is my dad, I would say. Like, I don't I know that most of you will not agree, but he's my he is my first love, my dad. Okay, then comes my kids. Okay, uh, my first pet, I don't really have pet, I don't do pet that much. Uh, my first piercing, I don't really remember piercing. The only person I remember is this one, which I'm not the one that did it myself. It was my mom because in Nigeria, when you give birth to a, a baby girl, after two days or thereabouts, or after a day of giving birth to a baby girl, you are allowed to pierce your ears. So my mom pierced all of us ears. So yeah, it's my mom that did the piercing and not me. So the next one is my first swear word ever swear word. Uh, I don't really remember. I can't really remember, but it's it's going definitely going to be in Igbo language. So we have a lot of swear word in Igbo language. So I can't remember which one. Okay. So waka something like that. It's, <laughs> we have a lot of swear word. So I don't really remember one. All right. My first tattoo. I don't really have tattoo. I'm not really a tattoo person, but I'm considering one, which I don't know if I will ever try okay but i'm not really a tattoo person but maybe in the future i might just tattoo a place in my i don't know i don't just know but i don't have tattoo yet uh my thoughts my first thoughts today oh my first thought today is um life you know my family uh yeah just wake up thought about my, my family life in general and uh how to save god better i have to be a better person okay I have many so I can't remember my first thought today. All right, the next one is um my first time on a plane. Okay. My first time on a plane is uh was when I went to Abuja. Yes, when I went to Abuja. That was my first time on a plane and everybody at the airport that they knows that this girl is JJC. Like I was the way I was walking panicking and the way i was behaving in the plane i used iric airline i think yes i can't really remember it, but i think it's iric airline i use and you know they serve uh, snacks when you are when you are on board so i did, i couldn't even take any of the snacks i just put them in my bag and uh, until we land so that was my first time on a plane it was very close like everybody knows i don't know how to put it belt i had to ask questions oh it was funny guys all right so let's move on to the next one my first time on a ship i've been in a, on a boat but not in a ship like cruise ship i've not been on a cruise ship but i've been on a boat okay so the next one is um my first time on uh, my first time on a train my first time on a train was is i uh, was in italy here it wasn't bad i enjoyed every bit of it so yeah the next one is my first toy i can't really remember my first toy guys it's, it's I think it's one of these baby doll, baby girl doll and all that. I can't really remember my first toy, okay? <laughs> uh, my first tweet, mm -mm, I can't say anything, my best tweet. I remember posting food link from the blog to, to Twitter, so I don't really do tweets, okay? So my first YouTube video, my first YouTube video is a natural hair video. Yes, it was a natural hair video. It was when uh, after uh, my baby boy Cosmo was over a year and there uh, was like, I'm bored. I don't know what to be doing at home. So that when I did my one year uh, big shop um, transition uh, hair updates, when it was one year, that is when that was my first video. That was the first time I made a video on YouTube and I still leave that video public it doesn't have any reasonable viewers but i just left it there like that because that was my first uh, youtube uh, video here on my channel so my online profile picture i'm going to insert it for you guys this here instagram facebook and uh, youtube yeah so the next question is um my first concert i ever attended i can't really remember it was a christian concert that is my first concert yes i grew up like that so one of the christian concerts in the in my town then that was the first great concert that then it was a like crusade okay let's just call it crusade all right the next one is um the first movie i remember seeing <sighs> i can't remember the first person i talked to today the first person i talked to today <laughs> who christina my husband cosimo 
all of them. <laughs> all of them, they are the person who like come to today. So uh the first person that ever broke uh the person that ever ever broke my heart mm, not really i'm not that kind of someone that let people break my heart like that i know i still feel pain but i don't really let somebody destroy my heart like that okay i walk away before the broken heart started starts okay <laughs> that is it uh the next person is first person you text when something exciting happened first person i text when something exciting happened to be honest with you is my husband and the next person i will tell you i will swear i i have i will swear i will text when something would happen is my cousin in holland as well followed by my friends annie everyone all and every other lovely people around me but this and my family as well okay but if something exciting happened in this house so i just pick a phone and you know, ring my husband immediately or text him. So the first, uh, the next question said the first, um, the first, the first test I sent today. The first, I did not send any first test today. I didn't. I'm not that kind of sending test thing. It's, I was on I was on Instagram today, so I had to reply some DM. So I didn't. I don't just carry phone and start sending tests for without any reason. Okay, so yeah. Uh, the first thing I do every morning, the first thing I do every morning is to pray, read my Bible, pray, go to the toilet, and then, yeah, or if it's the day I woke up with us to go to the bathroom, I will rush to the bathroom, then come back to bed, I pray, and uh, start the day. So, yeah, the first thing I do when I get home, the first thing I do when I get home is to wash my hand and breast my babies, if they are, if I miss them, if I didn't go out with them, hug my baby, hug my family, and, uh, you know, wash my hand immediately, and uh, get into the kitchen because I have to prepare food for my family to eat, so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, what is the next question? The first time I ever come in contact with a white man, yes, this is going to be the closing part of this. So, I remember many years ago, in Port Harcourt, when my cousin took me to one white man's house. I never knew that I'm going to marry the white, honestly. <laughs> I ran away like after seeing the man it was like they seen a ghost so my cousin was like Ijoma why are you behaving like this because my name is Ijoma so they addressed me Ijoma so it was like Ijoma why are you behaving like this why are you doing like if you never seen a white man before I was like Jesus Christ because he was so big the guy was big and he was kind of huge I was like Jesus Christ I've never met this a person like this before <laughs> If my cousin go to the bathroom, I will follow her to the bathroom. <laughs> if my cousin go out, he was like, stop following me. Stop following me. He's not going to swallow you. Stop following me. So that was the first time I ever like come close with a white person, a white man in their house. So I could not wait for, for us to leave the house. So when my cousin said, oh, I have time to go. I'm going now. Can you wait for me to come? I said, wait for you for waiting. Ah, I was out. <laughs> if you see wrong. I ran out. I never after that experience. I never knew that I'm going to be married to a white man today. But it was hairy cloth because I couldn't let the guy come close to me. Like I was like he was looking like a ghost to me. Like I've never met person someone like this. So that is I'm going to end this video with this story. So it's crazy, you know. You never know what life has for you or the plan the life has for you. Today I'm married to a white, but the same the same color that I ran away from the first time I come uh, uh, in a close contact with uh, a white person. So yeah, it's been funny. This video is a fun one to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, you can make this video as well. I thank everyone, every YouTuber that I feel like making this video. It's a fun one. Okay, just pick your camera and record this video, all right? So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next one. God bless you all. Bye.